Ever since I decided I wanted to go from this to this, I realized that all the hard training in the world wouldn't matter unless I got one thing right, the diet. They say your body is made in the kitchen. Now while that's not technically true and you need to combine effective training with a good diet, you'll never look that good if you mess this part up. Once I found an enjoyable way to lean down, my body started to look better and better each week. Today I'm going to show you what I eat to stay lean, but here's a disclaimer. If you're looking for fitness influencer food, you know, chicken breast and broccoli with mad amounts of protein, then you best click off because I'm a foodie. I can't live on that. I eat good food and lots of it. So here we go. All right, it's about 11 o'clock, heading to the gym. I fasted the entire day, didn't even have coffee. Usually I'll have a coffee before working out, but didn't have any of that because I got good sleep and a workout and then have my first meal. Training fasted is actually very, very good for me. I feel so good in the gym. I don't even feel weak or exhausted. In fact, it's like the opposite. I get this kind of supercharged, sharp feeling. And because there's nothing in my belly, I feel like when I work, I feel very productive. I feel strong, I feel lean. And I love that feeling. And when you get like a really nice pump after the workout as well, because there's not that food inside, you look even leaner and it's just like a little boost. Um, so the workout will probably go till midday. And then around 1 p.m. I'll probably have my first meal. High protein, low carb, probably one of the Asian rice bowls that I'll show you how to make as well. And then a big fat dinner. Started with the flat bench press normally I do incline bench press, but today I felt like just doing the flat and it wasn't feeling as strong as normal. The workouts are very minimal. I only do four exercises. It's an upper body day, so I do the biggest compounds at the beginning, the bench press, then the pull up, um, and then I move straight on after the bench press, the weighted pull ups, one of the best exercises for the back. Um, if you're someone that can do pull ups, I highly, highly recommend for you to start working up to a weighted pull up as soon as you can do eight reps of body weight. Then I move on to the unilateral shoulder press. Um, this is another one of my favorites that actually you work your obliques and your abs to stabilize yourself. Look quite funny just doing it um, on super speed, but another one of my favorite exercises. Then I move on to these bench assisted dumbbell rows, one of my favorites, because you can actually take out a lot of the body momentum that we use when we do for instance barbell you know rows and penlay rows which you know i love as well but yeah uh, the dumbbell exercise is something that i really enjoy and that's it that's finished with the workout maybe eat something a small portion i'm gonna show you a little bit the korean uh, the korean market guess what i'm getting for those of you that are ready to tell me i'm so unhealthy i know i know You see some KFC, some Korean fried chicken, some sushi, Korean meatballs, soy marinated crab. These are all like food you find in the Korean market, like street food markets. Luckily, it's very close to my house. So, oh yeah. And then on the way, I saw some of these grilled mackerel and eel for a very good price. So, couldn't help myself. I got myself a pack of eel. Obviously, it's not what I eat every day. All right, let me show you some Korean food soy marinated beef with quail eggs absolutely delicious usually i just have chicken breast as my source of protein or tinned tuna three eggs rice and soy sauce so olive oil in about a tablespoon molden sea salt What's the secret to flipping the eggs without it breaking? You gotta use the pan to your advantage. <coughs> so while the eggs are preparing, let's prepare the eel. But like I said, you don't have to use eel. What are the alternatives? Chicken breast, tuna. This is about 300 calories, plus three eggs. Whoa, in. Just warm up these uh, this eel with an extra drizzle of olive oil. Just 
But again, normally I'd be using chicken or tin tuna. The sweet eel sauce. Here. And there. Go in with this soy sauce. Drizzle, 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 drizzle. With a little bit of sesame oil. Madonna mia. Mix. It is so good. It's 300 for the rice. Eel itself is about, I would say 700. Because it's quite a fatty fish, right? Three eggs is about 210. 1,400 calories, it's a big lunch. So how many calories do you aim to eat a day? For a lean bulk. 27, 2,800. Sometimes even 3,000. And it's a good time when you're not cutting. This is so easy to make. You can get eggs, you can get Asian rice anywhere, you can get soy sauce anywhere, and you just put your favorite protein in it. could be tuna, it could be chicken. Well, I know I'm going out that night. The day before or that day, my fasting is on point. It actually like replenishes your soul. Because think about you you're in a deficit all the time, you're, and your body is like, the more fat it loses, it's like, dude, what, what's going on? We need this. It starts to send you all these signals. Big meal, big like time with friends. You're mentally recharged. Your body's like, okay, we're actually good now. This much you want about a tablespoon of soy sauce. Just drizzle it. Just drizzle it. And then, this is the killer sesame oil. Now, this is optional. If you don't have it, you don't have to have it. Half a tablespoon of sesame oil. And then, oh, look at God. Forgot the chicken in your country because this chicken breast is freaking good. I'm about to make a dinner. There is some wine. Bongole. Olive oil. White wine. Parsley. Good pasta. And of course, some bongole. So this will be my dinner today. It's uh, there's not a lot of protein, but my brother put a bunch of uh, chicken breast inside of the uh, air fryer. Dinner, I usually have a big fat meal. I usually have two meals: one small meal and then a big one at dinner. So salt in the pasta water. A lot of salt, especially with vongole, a lot. Oh. Oh. Gotta well, make sure the garlic doesn't burn, otherwise all the Italians will just start crying. First I'm going to some pasta. This much should be enough. Oh! And you take the pasta out before it's finished, and you finish cooking the pasta inside the sauce, Okay, so the pasta actually takes the taste of the sauce as it cooks. Look at this. Look at this. This is the goodness. This is the life of Vongole. Now, before it's cooked, you start maneuvering the pasta. In. Go a little bit like this. Finish cooking the pasta. Pretty much finished. And that's it. You just add a bit of olive oil, finished. Enjoy the vongole, enjoy the pasta. Yes, some of you will say, oh, that's not enough protein, you're losing muscle and things like this. You know, it is true that when I uh, eat, I'm mindful of protein, I'm trying to get uh, enough protein to preserve and build muscle. But there are times where, you know, you might have a bowl of pasta instead of a steak. There are times where you have steak and three chicken breasts instead of pasta. These things happen, life happens, especially if you're passionate about food. You know, don't get too stressed about it. Your body's very, very wise. You don't, it will source the protein uh, that it needs in the time frame that it needs it, all right? It's not like, oh, if you don't eat immediately after, you're screwed up. So don't worry. You know, if you have a day where you didn't, don't eat, hit your protein intake, it's fine. The next day, you'll probably hit it and you're good. So, like I say, um, more important than hitting protein levels, as long as you're getting like reasonable amounts of protein, I think 
More important than protein levels is less stressed and consistent on the diet. Cool, I hope that helped guys.